I spent 50 years as a cinematographer and a camera assistant there behind the camera. You know, I didn't have to like talk to people. I talked to my director, I talked to the actors, my crew, but there is a line from behind that lens and in front of the lens. It is a very big line. You give me your arm, monsieur. I will give you something in return that you will never forget. The relationship between Mexico and Hollywood goes back to the earliest days of filmmaking in Hollywood, during the silent era. You know, there were two, at least two big stars in Hollywood that were Mexican. You know, Ramon Navarro and Dolores del Rio. And they were big stars during the silent era. So that's a history that just goes back to the earliest days and has always continued. I think there is a great tradition of powerful cinema photography from Mexico, very dramatic, and it's had a tremendous influence. Gabriel Figueroa is one of the great icons of cinematography, black and white. He's like, and Emil Curie was nominated eight times during the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, today, we have Los Tres Amigos that are huge in Hollywood, right? And several cinematographers, Guillermo Navarro and uh, Emmanuel Lubetsky, Chivo, and my, both good friends of mine, and uh, uh, Rodrigo Prieto, who's a very good friend, very dear friend, I love Rodrigo. We speak different languages, but cinema really is a visual language. You know, I just saw uh, uh, a foreign language entry from, uh, uh, from the Ukraine. It's uh, two hours long, no dialogue, not a single word, nothing, only images. You know, you can, you can make a movie without sound, you can make a movie without speech, you can make a movie without visual effects, whatever, but you can't make a movie without images, right? <laughs> yes. I am very committed to you know, the international visual language of film, and the Academy is trying to expand not only this uh, uh, Foreign Language Film Award, but in membership. We're taking in more and more international members. This, this year, recently, we just took in almost 800 new members, and many of them are international. Por falta de elementos, queda en absoluta libertad. Uh, I saw the film last year, and I'll be seeing it again. I wish it very well. I think it was so brave of Mexico to submit a documentary for the Foreign Language Award. There are only three documentaries of the 92 films this year, only three. It could be nominated. It's a very powerful film, the story of two women, right? Two tormented women. And it's done beautifully structured. A woman director uh, structured in a lot of flashbacks telling their story as they are on this bus ride from Ciudad Juarez into the heart of Mexico. No tengo miedo. The Academy. I'm getting used to it. I'm enjoying it. I love being able to talk about international films and new members. Uh, but it's, it's not the easiest thing for me. It's new. It's brand new.